tear the veil off the universe and try to catch sight of the Higgs. Now they raise the power. One more notch on the way up to seven trillion volts. And then, the LHC explodes. September 2008, explosion ripped through the 17 mile long tunnel housing the Large Hadron Collider, Europe's Big Bang machine. An enormous blast destroys hundreds of the superconducting magnets that shoot protons through the accelerator. It was, uh, it was pretty dramatic. Yeah, it absolutely. Quite took a year to fit. It must have been, yeah, it must have been quite an electrical arc to melt I just through the... Uh... I mean, imagine the face of the guy who opened the door to the tunnel. <laughs> I just don't want to know. Yeah, I can imagine waiting to get in there, right? They yeah. must have been really, really it nervous was, to see what had happened. It was, and then... you know, it was desperately disappointing for everyone involved. As CERN rebuilds its broken magnets, Fermilab's Tevatron steps up the pace. But they don't see the Higgs. This means that the Higgs particle, the force carrier that allows matter to clump together, has a high mass. And the higher the mass, the more outside energy it takes to crack it open. At this point, Fermilab just can't generate enough energy. December 2009, CERN's LHC restarts. Within weeks, it powers up well past Fermilab's capacity. Eventually, it will be seven times more powerful. With both machines running, the Higgs particle could be found in the next few years. Unless everyone's secret fear comes true. What if it's not there at all? What if the standard model is wrong and the Higgs doesn't exist? If it turns out that uh, you know, the experimental evidence is strongly that there is no such thing, then I'm simply baffled because it means that a great deal of physics, and which I think I now understand, I would no longer understand. If the Higgs theory is wrong, of course, many theoretical physicists will jump out of second floor windows. That's about as high as they go. <laughs> Nature knows how it works. Soon we will know how it works. We have our ideas on how it works, which may be proved correct, they may be proved wrong. Whichever it is, we will learn. If you're asking me to place my bets, I think that something like the Higgs boson is out there waiting to be discovered. What would be more exciting is, in fact, we find things that we don't understand. So we understand that the Higgs is going to be there, and so we find it, so hooray, hooray, now what do we do? But if you find something you don't understand, well, now people have a job. My job every day is to go to work and understand things that I don't understand. If I have more stuff to not understand, as job security. So, what are we really made of? Dig deep inside the atom and you'll find tiny particles held together by invisible forces in a sea of empty space. Dig even further and we discover that everything is made up of tiny packets of energy born in cosmic furnaces. It's energy that cools down, gets dragged through a mysterious force named the Higgs and clumps together forming all the things we call matter. It has an evil twin called antimatter. But most of that has long since disappeared. As we get closer to recreating the heat of the Big Bang in our accelerators, we get closer to understanding how and why all this happened. Perhaps someday, not long from now, we'll finally solve the last remaining riddles of matter and fully comprehend the inner workings of creation. <laughs>